Welcome back again everybody for more Irish reactions. As you know this channel is for everything kind of more North American based, your hockey and lacrosse and whatever else. Give me more suggestions of other Canadian sports or North American things. Um, today is going to be Red Bull Crashed Ice. I have no fucking idea what I'm about to watch. But I'm sure it's going to be entertaining. Because if it's nothing to do with skating or hockey or it's, it's going to be entertaining. Um, Look, I, I just, I don't know what this is going to be, so I might as well just jump right into it. And here we go. Men's final Red Bulls crashed ice 2018. This is the main event here. This is the thing that we've all been waiting for. Our men's final here in St. Paul. Look at this lineup. Scott Croxall, Cameron Nas. They've had battles before. There we see Michael Julianello, otherwise known as Iggy. The digital camouflage has been helping him all day long today. Good start for him. How will he do? What is this? The battle hardened guys that are in this heat with is it, him. Is it a course? We have Marco Delago, a former world champion. He knows what it takes to win. Can he do it again here in St. Paul? Only time will tell. About 38 seconds, I believe. Then we have the two time world champion, Cameron Nas. He wants to have three. Unbelievable. This guy is an incredible... Are these hockey players, is a question I have. And on the skill side, Scott Croxall. It took him a long time to get that world championship title. The monkey was off his back one year, and he took it, and he's been solid ever since. This is going to be a fantastic final. Here we go. Well, I'm going to find out now in a few seconds what this is. What? Is it? What? It's the jumps? It's a course? Okay. Oh, what? What the fuck is this? Oh, 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 the leader fell. The two fell. What an unbelievable heat that was. A major mistake by Cameron Noss cost him the winning call as he had all this locked down and just fell over the Dino Bridge. Because that was a lot of information just taken in there. Um, what a great race. So it's course. Oh my goodness. What a fantastic heat for him. A second place for Michael Julianello in the final. That's definitely his best result ever. Let's look at this again. This is definitely one of the best finals ever. Nas has a great start, comes in right on shoulder to shoulder with Delago. Everybody takes a jump real clean. <laughs> Just beautiful. That's such a cool picture, of them in the air. Now Scotty comes in a really nice position, blocking out Marco. But Marco keeps his speed really nice over this corner, and they all kind of go down in chaos. Now it's all Iggy and Nas pushing on. From here, I thought that's the way this race was going to end. Nas and Iggy, but I would not do this. Scott Croxall is so strong. Just a fantastic skater, and his ability to glide is just incredible. Oh, he made an unreal comeback here. Scotty is never out of it. He's such a good skater, such a good glider, like you said. Watch him come down this final stretch, just pushing, striding the whole way. And I thought he had it, and then the chaos ensued. Let's just watch it here, because it is something to behold. Now this is where guys know they have to push hard. With this crew behind you, the dyno is the thorn in everybody's side. Oh, he clipped his feet off the bottom. Scotty takes it a little too far, but it holds his own. Now this is where Iggy hits the boards. Scott takes a little Oh, he couldn't get up. Oh no. I want to see what happened to Scott though. And Iggy goes down. Oh yeah, Scott hits, hits that boards. board hard. Look at the excitement by the crowd. They are freaking out. One more look at it here. Scott, yeah, he just sailed. Oh, shit. Iggy comes in hot on his hip. 
To get some air. Marco, congratulations. It looks like you didn't, you weren't even in it, and then at the last minute you cinched the win. How did you do it? You know, it reminds me a little bit on last year. I also caught up from last place all the way to second. I'm going to have to look into this more because I just, this was madness. Um, I didn't know there was such a thing as this. Looks fun, looks really fun, but I wouldn't do it. <laughs> when you won the world championship can we see you do it again this season uh, you know, I'm okay i assume it's going to be just interviewing them now and yeah i just have a couple of questions um obviously it's big there's a big crowd there um like it was just awesome and how how often does this happen where does this mainly happen um, are these hockey players or are these skaters? They look like they're kind of wearing hockey gear. So I'm going to assume the hockey players. I don't really know. Um, could be skaters. But it's a bit crazy. So I, I assume it's a hockey player kind of thing. I could be wrong. Could be wrong. Um, It's cool. I, I just thought I was watching it there. Um, this shit's crazy. <laughs> is there more extreme versions of this? Is you know what I mean? Is there is there more kind of obstacle courses for skaters? Because that shit would be cool to watch. Um, that's a big fucking show. Obviously, it's a big following. Um, look, at, I'm gonna leave it at that. Cause it just seems like I'm gonna interview them and stuff like that now. But that was cool to watch. Very cool to watch and learn. Um, as I said, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if there's any other stuff you want me to react to, any crazy stuff like this that I don't know about, let me know. I'll get to it. And yeah, thanks for hanging in this long. And see you next time.